hi guys welcome back to my channel let's get straight to today's ingredients thank you for visiting my youtube channel we need four containers one chicken breast chopped into dices asparagus and jacuni and some sliced carrots one green apple peanut butter and some broccoli and some nuts almonds and all sorts and some frozen blackberries and gluten-free muesli and some chia seeds now let's start by firstly marinating our chicken breasts you've got some spices and herbs and ginger and garlic and some olive oil firstly put your slightly amount of olive oil on the chicken breast and then we are mixing the chicken breast with the olive oil and then <clears throat> put it into the spices sorry guys I'm drinking water as I speak now all I'm doing is just mixing the diced chicken breast into all the herbs and spices all I've got is ginger and garlic turmeric spices and some herbs that's it now heat a hot pan and put your desired oil i'm using this one there you go and now firstly we are going to cook our vegetable while our chicken is marinating on the side so um, it's very easy, just put all your chopped desired, any kind of vegetable, these are my choice ones, put it all into the pan and then just give it a stir. You can add any other kinds of vegetables, I'm using broccoli, carrots, zucchini and asparagus. So give it a stir so the oil coats all the vegetables this only takes about five five ten minutes to cook we don't want our vegetables to be overcooked because we want to keep the nutritious in our vegetables five minutes <clears throat> and as it's cooking it might stick into the pan but don't add more oil add water now i'm putting some sesame seed as you know i love sesame seed it's got loads of nutrition uh, <clears throat> values in it so all i add is sesame seed there and give it a nice stir it's already looking very colorful i like my vegetables to be colorful um <clears throat> there you go now five minutes just let it cook for a while like i said we don't want to overcook it as you can see i'm adding some hot water so you know the vegetable gets cooked thoroughly but not burning it or not overcooking it now just cook it for two three minutes more and then it should be done there you go after three minutes it looks like this it's nearly done now <clears throat> we just want the water to get dry and then it will be cooked Okay, and another after another two minutes it's done and then put it aside for now now on the same pan that's it i put it on a bowl there well cooked now on the same pan we're gonna fry our chicken breast as well don't know why i've got the same click over and over again but that's it that's our chicken breast now we're going to use this olive oil spray because we've already put a decent amount of olive oil in our chicken breast while we were marinating <clears throat> not going to put a lot just some couple of sprays if you want to avoid the spray you can you don't have to put any sprays you can just dump the chicken in there that's it and as i said keep putting some water on it so it cooks faster and then it doesn't stick to the pan give it a nice stir now i'm putting some water just so it gets cooked thoroughly inside as well because we want the chicken to be cooked from the inside not just you know fried from outside now to make the cooking go quicker i'm going to cover it with the lid and put it cook it for five to ten minutes after five to ten minutes it looks like this 
<coughs> now the reason why I've used a lot of ginger and garlic is I'm not going to eat all of the ginger and garlic that you can see here but I just want the oil to be infused with the ginger and garlic because it will taste much more better and I haven't used much spices in it so the ginger and garlic is my main ingredient there there you go I've put it all aside it's cooked now now I'm going to cut one green apple into dices and some peanut butter <clears throat> I think I've already cut the apples into pieces and I've put it on one of the containers now I'm going to scoop one one little spoon of peanut butter then put it into my bowl of chopped green apples <coughs> Sorry for that. and then now I'm going to sprinkle some almonds and peanuts this is my tea guys this is my tea portion so sprinkle some you can use Brazil nuts and all other kinds of nuts but these are the only two kinds of nuts I had in the house. There you go. My tea is ready. A bowl full of goodness. I'm going to cover that with the lid. Now I'm going to prepare my breakfast. I think I forgot to show you. For breakfast, I'm going to be using almond unsweetened milk. You can use any kind of milk, soya or even cow's milk, whichever you prefer. I'm going to pour it into my bowl. This is a very easy breakfast, um, literally just takes one minute. And then now I'm going to put my gluten-free gluten muesli in it. Going to do, I think I did about five spoons. You could use a bigger spoon, I didn't, don't know why I didn't use one. <clears throat> That's it. If you want to eat more, you can add more, but I've just scooped five spoonful. Now I'm going to put my frozen blueberries in there. That's it, gives it a nice color. And some chia seeds. Now, chia seeds got loads of, you know, lots of goodness. Is it high in fiber, source of omega 3, it's gluten free. Basically, it's generally good for health, I've heard. So I'm going to sprinkle that on top. <clears throat> There you go. And now I'm going to sprinkle the leftover nuts. All of it in there. There you go. My bowl of breakfast is ready, full of nutrition. It's going to give me energy in the morning. Going to cover it with the lid on. There you go, my breakfast and my tea is done. Now I'm going to move on and make my lunch and my dinner. <clears throat> it's going to be similar. So I'm going to put some chicken breast. Now if you're not a big fan of chicken breast, you can substitute it with salmon or even, you know, salmon or any other kinds of fish, lamb, anything you want or even tofu, any kind of protein. Now I'm going to put some vegetables. That's it, chop it all in there. There you go. And that's it, that's your lunch and your dinner all ready in one not long. Now I'm going to put the lid on. That's it. These containers are from Costco, they're very useful. You can put it in dishwasher, microwave, anything. There you go, that's my four bowls ready, my breakfast, my lunch, my tea, and my dinner. They're all ready. Now that didn't take long, did it? So let me go into it. That's my breakfast, and that's my lunch, <clears throat> and that's my tea snack tea or snack whatever you can call it and that's my dinner now don't forget guys um you must drink adequate amount of water as well in order to be healthy okay now um drinking water depends on your weight so please consult your doctor i'm not a nutritionist or anything this is just what 
has worked for me in the past. So this I'm going to be starting on my new journey from tomorrow, hopefully. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit on that hit on that notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new channel. Thank you very much. Bye.